The section filter features bring all of the categorization and organization features of walling together to best and most efficiently serve your project management. So let's take a minute to just briefly go over what exactly the section filter can do, and then we can dive into more of some use cases. The section filter can be found right next to where you would identify what kind of section you're having. So it is right here. And as you can see, the filter criteria that you can choose from are tags, who it's assigned to, which is great for if you're using walling with multiple people, the due date, which is great for quickly analyzing what you've got coming up soon as opposed to overall the brick color there's also a match specification so if you want it to match any of the criteria you give it versus the exact criteria that you give it so that's just tall global with a click same thing with this one uh, you can choose between showing all of the matches or hiding all of the matches so that's the section filter in a nutshell but let's talk about how we can use it with our sections so let's say today you want to write a how-to article you can obviously just scan your wall and since you've taken the time to make sure that you've labeled everything uh, pretty pretty well, pretty thoroughly, you can kind of pick out your how-tos. But with the section filter feature, you can do that even more efficiently and look at just your how-to ideas by going to filter, going to tags, and typing in your tag, clicking that, and hit filter. And then it's just going to pull up every brick that contains how-tos. Or let's say you're unsure of, you know, if you want to write a how-to article or if you want to write a list post. So you can actually add list post as well and it'll bring up all of the bricks that have those tags assigned to it. Additionally, if you wanted things that were tagged a list post and a how-to, you can switch your uh, match exact on and it'll show us only the things that have both of those tags. And to get all of your bricks back, all you gotta do is just clear your filter and it brings everything back to you. So let's take a look at this to-do list real quick here. Same thing applies to various uh, section views. So we can filter this by just a certain tag. And I can look at just the tasks that are containing that tag. I can also filter by due date. So let's do due today. And I have one thing that's due today. Very quickly can be able to look at that. Or as you see here, I do have a couple of postponed tasks. So if I wanted to get rid of those, like just out of my peripheral, I can filter it by tags. Uh, postponed and then hide those ones and they will be removed and they will stay removed until I clear the filter. Now another interesting part about the section filter is that it only applies to the section view that you have currently. So let's say we switch this to a Kanban view. Um, that filter will not be applied. There's no filter currently applied to anything going on here. Um, but if we switch back to list view that filter will still be on and still filtering those postponed tasks. So you can make several different filter configurations across all of the section views. And also that filter stays on permanently. So if I refresh walling, it's, it's still on, you know, that's still filtering the same thing. So you can exit your wall, you can come back to the wall and that filter will still be there. Additionally, let's say that I am only working on my personal site and I'm only looking at tasks right then about that. Say I came up with a few more tasks that I wanted to add to this to-do list. I can say uh, clean up homepage copy and as you can see it automatically applies the filter criteria to those new bricks as you create them. So that's just another way that the mechanisms of walling expedite your productivity here. As you can see the section filter feature relies pretty heavily on like the systems that you've got going on for yourself, how well you utilize tags and um, brick colors and assigned dates and who is assigned to. But if anything, the section filter incentivizes you to utilize all of the features that Walling has to its fullest potential so that it can benef benefit you further when you're using it. We all know how much complexity can go into projects sometimes that we aren't even expecting, you know. And the section filter feature just expedites that workflow while bringing a lot of clarity to what you're doing at any given moment. So I hope you give it a go. I hope it uh, inspires you to utilize everything that Walling has to offer so that you can utilize everything Walling has to offer even more. <laughs> and that's all for me. All right, until next time, have a good one.